quick quick question before we what are the goals i know that the plans are amorphous but like what are we what's 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 the good outcome here well, I mean, I assume we all think that whatever Lucian's doing is probably <laughs> bad, sure. right? So I think awesome. the goal is to stop it. So that's a goal, but it doesn't seem like... I feel like that's a goal. I don't know if that's the goal. I feel like everybody's a little all over the place. I don't know. It's... You're all... Well, we're a bit thrown. You're all Luke, thrown. Yeah. It was kind of outside the rule book when someone lives, dies, lives again, dies, and then lives a third time from the first although, version. Although we have seen some of that in our travels, right? In, in Jorhas, we learned about them having souls that can jump into each other's bodies when they die and yeah. stuff. Sure. Sure. And it's not the it's same thing. Connected but... to the Luxon in some way. So mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of my question is, from the second that you found out that your friend was back, was the goal to stop him from doing something evil? Was that the plan from day one? Ye no. Well, I think the no. original plan was that there's still this brewing tension between the Empire and the Dynasty, and well, both just... sides seem to believe that there is divinity eliminating magic. I'm, I'm just talking about your, your friend. Like, we went, we went somewhere to see if he was still in the ground and he wasn't and then this happened well, but like I, I think his thread is coming up alongside ours here mm -hmm. because the reason we came was to spend time with this dead woman and learn a little bit about what she was doing and what the empire is doing and what the empire is doing is at odds with the dynasty yet again even though that we've achieved peace both sides are in some sort of arms race for whatever is buried up here. And we don't want the war to continue. We are trying to keep a lasting peace. Now she's dead. We're not going to learn too much from her. We might in a couple of days. I was under the assumption when we first started heading this direction, well, when we found out that we weren't alone heading in this direction, that the goal was that you wanted your friend back. And I don't know if that goal has actually changed. I just don't know if anybody's talking about it. And I'm a little worried. I feel like that goal is disappearing. I never had any illusions that we were going to get him back. I don't know if that's what I want either. It almost feels like a betrayal of something that passed. Maybe. But I'm just pointing out that if you wanted to know how to do it, in two days, we could ask the person who did. That's true. I would love to have my friend back. I don't know if it would work, but I feel like everyone's been running in different directions. Honestly, when we were going into that ruin, <gasps> I didn't know why we were walking in. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> we were hired to help Vess. If she's dead, it's done. We could have just walked away. Well, uh, I'm worried that whatever she was picking at here and whatever Lucian is picking at here, and supposedly the dynasty is as well, is going to rip apart the tenuous peace that has been achieved. Mm. Whatever it is, is not good. And we could contact either side. Obviously, I have ties on one, but I don't think either side wants whatever Lucian is chasing. And we're just trying to figure out what it is. Well, we have theories. We've had visions, even. That's that's my thing. Is I feel like we're all forgetting about this huge piece. Is that we all had this shared vision of a flying city in another dimension. I'm not one for a believer in. A shared vision is well, I, that common. I'm not common, but it's interesting that just things have been all over the place. I don't In know. In what way? Because I feel like everything is converging. 
oh. it's been all over the place, and now it feels like it's all coming to a head. I'm not talking about outside. I'm just talking about everybody in here. Oh, 100% agreed. We do not I'll have a cohesive plan. <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> not at all. We have not for days, not since she died. We knew what we were doing when she was alive, as soon as she was snuffed out, so was our purpose. I don't know what we are doing, but I, I know what I am afraid of. And I know that we are being pulled towards this thing, and I have both very real-world concerns, and then we have fate. It's very weird. Destiny? What is it? Fate. I like fate. But Call it whatever you want. So the dynasty is a pit we haven't dug into yet. Who knows what's there? I'm going to pull out my tarot cards. Ooh. Bold. Give us a sign. See if I can guess which one. Who you are you going to read? Your, yourself? I'm just going to pull out a card and look cool. to our future. And okay, cool. Give us a sign. <laughs> 17. Oh, interesting. I pull out a card that says the magician, the tinker. The magician and tinker? Mm hmm. Which one was, uh, which one was facing, facing up? Oh, well. Well, yeah, that number should tell you. Should. Oh, no. Never. No, no, I gotta roll. Gotta roll, sorry. <clears throat> Grab the system. The magician. Hmm. So, Molly drew this card for you, Caleb. It looks like you. You're sitting in the room and. All around you are strange orbiting lights. Veth is on the other side of the card, though. Well, not is. Isn't that interesting? That is weird. Molly drew cards for all of us. She did. Maybe that just means that we follow the magic. What does your gut tell you, Caleb? been trying to make sense of everything that's happened in the last few weeks every day, and I am not seeing it. But I know that we are supposed to go where Molly is. Otherwise, we would not have seen the things that we've seen. We wouldn't be the mighty nine. Kind of so like the real world exists behind us, waiting for us to return. Let's just start our own nation up here. Maybe Dagon is right. Our own nation? Yeah, we'll just start over. We already have a resort town with a bar named after me in Rumble. <laughs> Very exactly. cold here. Let's go. We don't have to go home. anywhere. We can... Franchises. Yeah. Uh, we need to open the bar here. Yeah. Some opened it. <laughs> a nice bar. <laughs> An ice bar. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this may sound stupid, but wherever you guys want to go, I'll be there. That does sound stupid, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have a strong pull anywhere, you know? I just want to do what no, you guys I, want to I'm do. I want to be with you. I'm joking. It's the rhubarb that's making me silly. <laughs> I, I I feel the exact same way. As long as we're together, I feel like we're gonna be doing the right thing. And and that means being with Molly too. Even if he's not Molly anymore, it means staying with him and seeing if there's some part of him still inside. <laughs> you all feel in your gut that what he's doing here is not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous and powerful, and it's going to fuck up the world if he completes it. Well, <laughs> well, somebody has to 
helped the Empire and the Dynasty. Might as well be this group of schmucks. <laughs>